property market and opportunities right now during lockdown what do you think about this now the question really is related to uh, people who are involved in the real estate property business whether it's a landlord tenant investor what can we really do right now the thing is not much but you can also do so much at the same time as well now it really depends of your current situation where do you fall into this uh, part of investing in real estate and connection with real estate and property. Now you might be a landlord. Now you, you're worried about is this tenant going to pay me on time? What kind of relief do I have? And what are the rules and regulations? If they don't pay me on time, how am I going to handle that as well? Um, if you are a tenant, what if I'm not, not able to pay that rent? What can I really do? Can I apply for some different reliefs? All these different things you need to take into consideration. But the whole point of this is, I'm always saying this on my presentations and talking to people, don't ever rely on only one income stream. Now look, you heard this before, I'm always going to repeat this and it will be even more clear after this lockdown, after this pandemic is over. You guys understand, comfort zone is fine while you have it. The moment is gone, it becomes very 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 difficult and if you've never been broke before you wouldn't understand but if you're getting into this situation right now that you're about to lose your job that your company is going bankrupt that or is about to go bankrupt that you were the temporary relief that your salary is like 30 percent uh, less or half whatever that is and you are thinking right now what i'm going to do next for the next three months where i'm low on the cash flow where the money that is coming in is not enough. Am I going to lose the house, the car that I have? I'm going to lose everything I have right now. What am I going to do right now? As difficult as it is, you have to be clear-minded and think outside of that box, right? We can all hope, let's hope it's not going to last more than one or two months. What if it does? What if it does? What are you going to do when your money runs out? What are you going to do then? And some of you might say, yeah, no, now it's too late to tell us, I told you so. It's not about that. It's about you thinking differently right now. What are you going to do right now? Because look, I've been there. Many of you folks have been there before. When you're broke, when you have nothing to fall back on and you don't have much time left, what do you do then? When you not fall into depression, in despair, you start thinking and you start thinking quickly. What can I do right now? What can I do in two, three months from now when this money runs out? Look. I want you to focus right now on what do you really have control of. You don't have a control over that virus. You don't have a control over the lockdown. How long is it going to take? It really depends on the government, the country that you're in. But what you have control of is how do you respond to all these things that's happening around you? How do you respond to the news? How do you respond to the lockdown? How do you respond to the fact that in three months, two, three months from now, you're not going to have enough money? So here's the thing. You can respond by doing nothing, or you can respond by doing something. Now, first thing what you have to do if you decide to do something is what is that something that I can really do right now? If you don't have any skills, you better get on and start learning some skills. Everything is going online right now. Everything, literally. If you're a coach, consultant, if you are in sales and any, any part of it, people are thinking already start doing it, putting things online, putting programs, services online. Online, everything's going online right now. So if you've never been into internet, now is maybe it's the time for you to start thinking about it. How can you how can you do that, right? What are you what are you gonna offer? Some people see opportunity when there's not. Look, people start making all these masks, different like flags and different custom logos and stuff. It's already out there. I don't know how they do that, but they did it. They spot opportunity didn't waste a long time. They did it. So the whole point is spotting an opportunity in terms of property right now. What I think is going to happen next after this lockdown. Now you can't really do much, but there's something that you can do right now in terms of property investing. You can build relationships. What I think is going to happen after this, people, because of lack of, lack of funds, lack of money, they will need that money quickly. They will start offloading their properties way below market value. The whole purpose is to sell them quickly so they can get money quickly. They're willing to negotiate. They're going to fall into the category of being motivated sellers. 
motivated sellers, right? Now, some certain people will have access to these motivated sellers. It might be real estate agents, it might be sourcing professionals, but also you as an investor, you should build your network right now, relationship with these kind of people. Say, hey, look, I'm on the market, I wanna buy properties. Right now, when you see some motivated seller, let me know. I need to be the first person to find that out. Why? Because I want to buy before someone else. And people are motivated, they're willing to negotiate, they're willing to lower the price. And if my numbers make sense, I know how to raise money to buy that property. All about the knowledge. If you don't have the knowledge, now is also a good time, not to watch Netflix or whatever that is, to learn. To learn to get knowledge. What can I do right now? What passive income can I create right now? Whether it's online or whatever that is, if you focus on property, how does the property world work? If you want to invest in property, this will be one of the greatest opportunities of our lifetime right now. After the lockdown is over, people will be selling properties left and right. And if you're in the right spot at the right time, you'll be able to spot these opportunities. Now, for you guys who are at home, don't know what to do, it's the same thing. Look, you decide. All these years you're going to rely on that one income stream. If you don't have anything else, well, I don't want to say I told you so, but you have to think something quickly. What else can you do? Now, the problem is, in the regular situation, you know, when you can go around, you can go get some different jobs, but you have to look for different jobs online. What are people looking for? Are people are looking for virtual... Uh, virtual consultants, assistants, looking for translators, looking for different things. If you don't know, look online, go to Google. Go to Google and type in online jobs. Tons of them, promise you, tons of them. If you don't have skills for them, you better learn how to do it. You better learn how to build a website. You better learn something quickly. What can you really learn in the next couple of weeks to get give you some sustainable source of income for you and your family? If you're not alone, you, yourself, your wife, your spouse, whoever you have in your family, everybody should be working together right now. There's no time to do nothing. Money will run out. What are you going to do then? That's a very important question. You better sit down. No time to sleep here. Look, let me tell you guys, I'm a bit tired right now. What I do during the day, I take care of my kids. During the night, I work. I work on my online businesses. Even my business is, is closed right now. We, if you guys know, we've been doing events, so we're shifting, we're pivoting to a different area as well. But you do what you have to, right? You do what you have to. Everybody has to start, di start thinking differently. Differently. To get different results, you need to start to thinking differently to get different results. Simple as that. If you think the same, or you know what, I, I got used to doing this. Well, it's time for you to get different habits, to change your habits. If you have it is to wake up in the morning, then you wake up in the morning. If you have it was to work up in the gym, well, guess what? Gyms are closed. You have to start working out at home. So changing habits, adapting to new environment, to new habits, changing the mindset right now, looking for opportunities where they're done, when you think they're done, then something great is going to happen out of that. But sit down and ask yourself, what can I do right now? What is that one thing that I can do today that's going to get me closer to my goal? What are my abilities? What, is, what are my skill set? What can I really do right now? And also, what are other people doing right now who are in a similar situation like myself?